What's going on everybody? So this video is going to be centered around Joel's defense that really stonewalled Ghost's gun bunch offense out of that West Coast playbook that, you know, to this point had really been a force throughout the Redskins club series, throughout the club championship. He was having a lot of success. And so we're going to take a look at exactly how Joel was able to do that. A uh, real quick shout out to Cameron, Kman12163, and Power Right for the suggestions to take a look at Joel's defense from this play. Uh, thank you for those requests, guys, and definitely keep them coming. Now, throughout this game, Joel ran pretty much exclusively dollar. You'll see him in a lot of cross three fire press. He also mixed in plays like cover one robber press, cover two drop, cover four, even like two man under, and DB fire two. But like I said, primarily this crossfire. And what you're going to see throughout the game is that Joel did a great job of mixing up his covered shell. So crossfire standard is a three deep shell. So you have both corners dropping back and then the safety playing the middle. That's the standard way you're going to see crossfire. Now, what some players will do is they'll go ahead and turn it into a Tampa two look and have both safeties playing deep halves and put the cornerbacks that were previously dropping back into to those deep thirds into the flats. Now, that's another popular way. And that was another way that Joel did run this defense. Another way he did was he went ahead and left the right safety on that deep half. And since Ghost was in this gun bunch offense a lot, he went ahead and manned up the free safety onto Mike Wallace. Since there's no vertical threat on the left side of the field, you don't really need him playing that deep left half. You basically man him up on the only guy who can threaten that part of the field vertically. So that was another strategy he went with. And so... Between those three coverage mix-ups, along with him playing very disciplined over the middle of the field as a user defender, he was able to have a lot of success at slowing down Ghost's offense. Now for this first example, it's actually from the first play of the game. I thought Joel set the tone right off the bat. You're going to go ahead and see he's going to come with the crossfire blitz, and this is going to be mesh post on offense from Ghost. And you see the blitz comes in, the crossfire is coming in, so Ghost is on the run with Mariota. He's about to have to roll out to the right. And mesh post and a lot of these plays, especially mesh post and dig HB out from this gun bunch from the West Coast playbook is all predicated on putting the user defender into basically a no win situation. But right here, Joel, very disciplined, knows where he needs to be, knows that he needs to just sit there, sit on the drag, basically dare ghost to throw that. And he knows that he has time to wait, wait, wait until this post route is going to break over the middle of the field. And then he knows he needs to sink back. So basically, Joel, what you're going to see, he sits underneath until the drag route reaches his flat zone defenders on the right side so then he's going to pass the drag off to his flat zone defenders and he's going to peel back and user the post and within doing all this he's going to identify that his defender actually dives and misses Mariota so at this point he goes ahead clicks in the right stick sends the closest defender so in this case it's this hard flat right here puts a clock on ghost he can't throw this drag route because he's just bracketed between four defenders. You see Joel sinking back to go ahead and stop that post route from being thrown along with the fact that Ghost is on the run. That's a very difficult throw to even make at this point. And you're going to see that his defender comes up and ends up tackling Mariota for a gain of zero. Essentially a sack. He got back to the line of scrimmage. But setting the tone early and showing that he knows really what Ghost wants to do on offense. And that he's prepared, especially as a user defender, to stay disciplined and know where he needs to be on the field. Now the second example is going to come from later in that same drive. 4th and 16, big play in the game. You're going to see Joel with another crossfire setup. Uh, but I love what he does right here because of the fact that... Picking up these long third and fourth down conversions, the most effective way to this point of the year has been to go with smart routed routes. So smart routed in routes, out routes, corner routes, stuff of that nature, basically any routes that break along the first down marker. And the problem is that the deep zones generally drop too deep to, to play them underneath and then the underneath zones don't drop deep enough. So they sit in between that pocket where it's really difficult to get a CPU defender to guard it. And it can get open. But what you're going to see here is that Joel ends up going with an all-out blitz to basically not give Ghost time to want to throw those routes. And he baseline presses. So that's important because this deep cornerback that's going to be dropping deep into that deep third on the left sideline is now, as you guys probably know, there's very big risk that if you press and baseline out of a cover three shell with that guy dropping into a deep third, he has a very high risk of getting burned off the line of scrimmage if this receiver were to run a fade. But in this case, Joel played the mind game and basically dared Ghost to go with the fade route on fourth and 16, basically go all or nothing. And he, he called Ghost's bluff and Ghost ended up going with that out route. And what you're going to see here is that the snap of the ball, 
you're going to notice, look, and that's why these outside defenders get burned. He backpedals. He doesn't in in initially bail. He just starts backpedaling. The receiver gets behind him, but because he's backpedaling and actually gets underneath position into like a trail technique on this receiver, he's actually going to be in better position to play that out route that you see. Ghost runs right there. He comes back, jumps it, ends up taking it for a pick six. So you're going to see, look at the snap of the ball. If this receiver had been on a fade route, He's past that outside defender. This is a lob touchdown, you know, 57-yard touchdown walk-in for Ghost. But 50-50 game, it's that chess match. Joel makes the aggressive call, and it ends up paying off for him. And I, I love that call in this situation. Send eight, try and get to the quarterback, and basically force Ghost into a throw that he didn't want to make. So right here, this next example, you're going to see Ghost go with a PA post setup, and Joel is just going to be all over every read that Ghost possibly has. Literally nobody was open on this play. So Ghost goes block six, Joel sends five, but what you notice is at the snap of the ball, I want you to look at Paul Krause here. And you're gonna notice the strong safety. Notice how this defender comes flying up into the box and takes away the underneath drag. And that's that three receiver hook out of that crossfire. When you shade underneath, he's gonna come up really aggressively into the box and basically play those drag routes and those shallow crossers very very hard and be all over them and that's really the key to this play in my opinion look how all over that b receiver is uh paul kraus right there and that allows joel to play very aggressively you see joel knows okay i'm gonna have paul kraus over the middle i need to be all over the flat route and that's gonna be ghost's hot read he's got the outside c route manned up ghost could try to throw that but at this point i don't even think he could get the ball off right there and then the last read is going to be the post route breaking over the middle. It's PA post. But in this case, you have this middle deep safety here. That's going to be a very tough throw to make. You're going to end up seeing Ghost actually get sacked. He's not going to be able to make the throw because, you know, Joel has a defender right in his quarterback's face. But even if Ghost does throw this football uh, to this post route, it might look open. But the ball's probably going to end up landing right around there. That's more than enough time for that 91 zone defender in the middle of the field to react and either make a play on the ball and undercut it or at the very least get right there and make it a very difficult catch in traffic. So you're going to end up seeing right there Ghost tries to get the ball away and Joel comes up with the sack and that's just a scenario of Joel being all over of what Ghost wants to do offensively and knowing and being disciplined in other case I thought Joel was incredibly disciplined this game in terms of knowing what route he needed to use her and sticking to it so this final example is going to come from a little later in the game and I think it just kind of shows how Ghost seemed to be getting a little flustered trying to get it all back in one place down 14 and he just kind of tunneled on trying to bomb this three deep shell out of the crossfire set up deep. And so it's just uncharacteristic of a player like Ghost, who's usually very methodical, driving the ball down the field, very good with his reads, knows his progressions, and just doesn't really force the ball in the traffic very often. And he just started making these uncharacteristic throws that you're going to see right here. So uh, once again, you're going to see five man rush crossfire setup. Ghost going to roll to the right. And really, this is Dig HP out, and this is the bread and butter of this West Coast playbook, and it's what makes it so good, right? You put the user defender in a scenario where Joel had to stay underneath on that drag route, or else it's going to be breaking wide open, and that ends up leaving this deep post route that basically is very difficult for any CPU defender to guard. He's going to be breaking open over the middle of the field. Ghost just has to be patient and wait for him to break and get into some space, that's an easy completion now right here a ghost tunnels on that a receiver and it looks like he does have a step perhaps past that deep cornerback uh, but you're gonna see it's almost like ghost waffles when he throws this because he ends up actually pass leading it back to the inside like oh no at the last second i don't really want to throw this pass leads it back inside and that really just kind of makes it like fielding a punt for this free safety he's going to run up underneath it end up making the interception and at that point he gets a good run back Pretty much sealing the deal right here, putting him in very good position. He's up 14 to go up by at least 17, make it a three possession game and put it away. So Joel played fantastic defense throughout this game. I thought forced Ghost to a very uncharacteristic five interceptions, four of which came from that crossfire setup that you saw throughout this video. So definitely a very efficient day for Joel on the defensive side of the ball. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching as always. And until next time, take it easy.